things over to our two primary presenters, Karen Thomas and Zach DiMaggio. All right, thank you, Bill. And again, welcome everyone. I'm Karen Thomas, Corvell's Director of Case Management Innovation. I'm a registered nurse and have a master's degree as a clinical nurse specialist in case management. I have 34 years of clinical experience and have been with Corvell for 20 years and serving in a variety of roles. I've taught nursing and case management at the university level, and I'm a passionate advocate for this unique nursing role, case management. Uh, Zach DiMaggio, I'm joined by Zach from PeerWell. Can you tell us a little bit about you? Yeah, of course. Uh, my name is Zach DiMaggio. I'm a partner success manager with PeerWell, which is a musculoskeletal recovery platform that's helped thousands of patients prepare for surgery or avoid it altogether. Thanks, Zach. And DiMaggio, just like the baseball player, right? Just like the baseball player, yep. <laughs> just couldn't hit like him. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, thank you again for joining us to learn more about a new tool available to Corbell nurse case managers, the PeerWell Prehab Rehab platform. This platform completely transforms the traditional care injured workers receive when surgery is necessary or they're experiencing back pain. By the end of our time together, you're going to understand why recovery from major surgical procedures and chronic pain varies from patient to patient and how this impacts costs. The partnership between Corvell Case Management and PeerWell is powerful, and we will demonstrate the impact to outcomes and claim costs. And finally, we'll explain how you can make this tool available to your injured workers to transfer their care, their experience, and start saving costs immediately. Next slide. So in workers' compensation, it's common for injured workers to be detached from their own care and wait to be told what to do. A mentality of fix me is prevalent, and this passive approach to patient care leaves injured workers disengaged in their own recovery. And it's easy for injured workers to feel like they have no control over their recovery or future. This can have a huge impact on healing, restoration of function and ultimately return to work. So by providing the PeerWell app, we empower the injured worker to help themselves. This accelerates healing. Injured workers become aware of the many factors that affect healing. So the foods we eat, overall fitness, lifestyle choices, psychosocial challenges can either derail or accelerate recovery. And we believe by proactively arming injured workers with knowledge and gentle coaching, we put their recovery back into their control and the experience becomes transformative. Using the data from PeerWell enables our nurses to improve care across the continuum and drive outstanding outcomes. Nurses know there's no one size fits all when preparing or recovering from surgery. The app acts as a daily set of eyes or ears for our nurses, generating real time data to drive a customized plan of care for each patient. These data points help clinicians hone in on what truly needs priority to holistically achieve best outcomes. So let's consider um, an average claim. For Joe, a grocery store worker um, here in the Washington DC area where I'm based. Joe's 40 years old, he's slightly obese like a lot of us. And since the pandemic broke out in February, Joe's working longer hours being tasked to move more product than ever before. The leading injury type just as a fun fact, in the grocery industry is musculoskeletal and accounts for 30 plus percent of all workers' comp claim costs. Unfortunately, Joe slips and falls on his knee and an MRI reveals a torn meniscus. Joe is scheduled for surgery to repair the tear. He has to wait four to six weeks because the surgical center has a backlog of elective surgeries due to COVID. 
During this time, Joe becomes very focused on his pain. He's depressed. No one from work is calling to check on him. He's anxious as he doesn't know what to expect of his treatment or outcomes following his procedure. He spends time watching Netflix and eating a lot of junk food to ease his frustration. His doctor prescribes an anti-anxiety medication and tells him to try not to gain weight. Joe has no idea how to achieve these things. Eventually, Joe has his procedure. Uh, he has never had surgery and does not know how to cope with his pain after the procedure. He requires opioids for three weeks and physical therapy unfortunately gets off to a slow start because he's gained 10 pounds and he's de uh, debilitated from four weeks of doing a whole lot of nothing. Joe stays in PT for eight weeks. He returns to full duty 45 days after surgery. That's 50% higher than what the MD guidelines recommend. If we go to the next slide, we can we can change these outcomes and lower claim costs by offering PeerWell along with Corvell Medical Case Management. Patients become active participants in their own care, and this enables clinical and lifestyle assessments to be sent to the nurse tracking things like pain, infection indicators, emotional health, range of motion, and environmental risks. The app is so much more than a tool. It acts as a coach, educator, and again, a daily set of eyes and ears for our nurses. So very powerful. It allows a tech first approach to care, which is completely keeping with Corvell's innovative approach to care management. I know you want to hear more about the PeerWell Prehab Rehab platform, so I'm going to turn it over to Zach to give us more detail. Thank you, Karen. I'm excited to share PeerWell with everyone and exactly how we can help your injured workers. For many injured workers, when they're told that they need surgery in six weeks, they may stay in bed and binge watch Netflix the entire time. They may get stressed and anxious about surgery and about the changes in their daily life that they'll be facing. They could eat poorly, maybe potentially self-medicating with alcohol or other vices, and withdraw from their social connections. And post-surgery, if a patient has not fully prepared for surgery to begin with, well, then they've already slowed down their rehab time. For many, the unknown aspects of surgery can be scary, and a patient may unknowingly ignore risk indicators because they're unaware of how dangerous the signs potentially are. It's really hard for a patient to notify a case manager that something is wrong if the patient doesn't know that anything is wrong. And as a result, they may feel isolated and alone when asking themselves very simple questions like, how should I be feeling? Is the pain that I'm feeling post-surgery normal? And knowing that with PeerWell, each injured worker has a daily personalized journey back to full health. Their unique experience is based on the type of surgery that they're having and what their specific needs are. In knowing the areas that a patient needs help, well, now we can effectively support them as they begin their recovery, and it all starts before they go in for surgery. Prior to surgery, PeerWell will introduce non-pharma pain management, exercise in the healthier parts of the body, education on what they can expect from surgery, what foods they should be eating, and learning how to prepare their home and their support network for the fastest possible recovery. Post-surgery, PeerWell will continue to provide daily personalized programs for patients to help them with the physical and emotional aspects of surgery. Because the unknown associated with surgery can be very scary, we also are able to educate patients about expected pain levels within the first few weeks after surgery. Setting expectations is a key component to pain management and recovery. It helps patients avoid catastrophizing the post-surgery process and helps them to develop a positive attitude to control their recovery. Uh, next slide, please. What has made PeerWell so successful in our history is that we provide surgery optimization to fill the biggest gaps in the time leading up to surgery and in a patient's rehab by creating an on-demand musculoskeletal recovery platform using the same devices that 80% of the world already has. Now injured workers can use our digital prehab and rehab platform to return to work faster, require less in-person physical therapy, experience a lower risk recovery, and have fewer healthcare expenses. Our user-friendly our user platform and built-in smart motion technology offers the latest technology and makes recovery engaging and accessible. 
Individuals can track their recovery process right through the app. And what makes PureWell so effective for injured workers is that when paired with case management, Corvell's nurse case managers are able to use real-time data generated from the patient's daily interactions with PureWell to allow for the right care at the right time. To allow for additional data transparency across the entire care team, case managers can also include an adjuster, surgeon, physical therapist, or any other care provider who has access to the patient's PHI to view the injured worker's progress with PeerWell, all within their own secure dashboard. The entire team can now have daily insights into how a patient is progressing with their rehab. Uh, next slide, please. Each and every patient-facing task on the PeerWell platform is created in partnership with, in, or with leading industry experts from some of the most respected medical institutions like Stanford, Cleveland Clinic, Henry Ford Health, UCSF, Kaiser Permanente, Cedar sinai and more. With combined decades of experience, our medical advisors have pulled together the highest impacted evidence-based evidence -based takeaways from their careers for PeerWell patients. We've built our programs with a wide range of certified professionals who touch every facet of the musculoskeletal recovery. From Harvard-trained orthopedic surgeons and published nutritional biochemists to chronic pain and mindfulness experts. Uh, next slide, please. After thousands of surgeries and in partnership with our team of medical advisors, Peerwell has perfected the recipe to improve outcomes for MSK surgery patients, as well as those dealing with chronic back pain. We provide a whole of person recovery that is built on our five pillars of health. These five pillars address the most important unmet needs of most patients. In introducing our five pillars, let's first start with nutrition. Nutrition is a huge factor in inflammation, blood clots, bowel health, and emotional well being, all of which are important to recovery. Did you know that if you don't consume 400 to 800 milligrams of vitamin D, your body will not absorb most of the calcium you intake? Now, I think we all know that calcium is needed to help heal bones, but it also helps to regulate moods and avoid depression. Or, how about in the week leading up to surgery, you want to avoid leafy greens? Why? Because they're high in vitamin K which may have a negative effect on anesthesia or bleeding time. For pain and wellness, navigating medication or being afraid to take medication because of the fear of opioid addiction can leave patients feeling like they don't have many options. Peerwell teaches pain management techniques that can reduce reliance on medication. One of our most popular programs is our non-pharma pain management techniques where we reduce the need for prescriptions like opioids and use breathing to drive down cortisol levels associated with stress through simple technology-enabled techniques. From the physical side of things, Peerwell doesn't replace physical therapy, but it is a great tool to supplement it. We use highly personalized programs leveraged through AI to assign virtual PT sessions. Strengthening exercises are started during a patient's prehab experience with the goal of making a patient stronger coming out of surgery. Post-surgery, we continue to provide strengthening exercises that start immediately following surgery and can be done from the comfort and safety of a patient's own bed as they begin their journey back to full mobility. From a life management perspective, that throw rug that an injured worker has stepped over a thousand times before could prove to be a big hazard when they come home and attempt to step over it for the first time with a walker or with crutches, or even if they're as groggy from pain medication. Our smart scan technology is able to identify slip and trip hazards within your home, as well as if a patient doesn't have grab bars in their bathroom or even if they don't have railings on their stairs. Now the patient's peer will experience will provide them with tutorial videos about how to navigate their home environment post-surgery. Patients will be provided a score based on their responses and will be given advice on how to correct those areas of need. Their Corvell case manager can follow up with them prior to surgery to ensure that they have a safer home environment for when they come home post-surgery. And lastly, from our health literacy pillar, our extensive library of, con on co of content on what to expect from surgery helps people feel more in control. Injured workers learn how to prepare their homes and their social support community to come home quickly. They'll receive practical advice, introducing how they can walk using a cane or how to properly get in and out of the car without re-injuring themselves. So they know exactly what to expect post-surgery and our content on things like infection signs and managing comorbidities can have meaningful and lasting positive impacts on their health. Uh, next slide. Now, 
this may sound robust, but for an injured worker, PeerWell is seamless and engaging. We use our advanced AI to provide the patient with three to six daily tasks from the five pillars that we just covered. We've built our interface to be approachable for any patient, regardless of age. And because surgery is scary enough, we use animations and graphics to create a fun environment for them. Additionally, we engage users through daily texts and emails and gamify that process right in the platform. We want to support, encourage, and remind patients to stay on track with their rehab. All of our content is written at a sixth grade reading level with large font. Additionally, much of it is video based, so it can be easily digestible and can be completed within 10 to 15 minutes each day. Now, to maximize every PeerWell feature, we do recommend the use of a smartphone or a tablet, but our content is also available via desktop as well. Uh, next slide, please. If an injured worker does have access to a smart device, like 80% of the world does, then they're able to take advantage of our exclusive range of motion programs, which track progress over time to get them back to full mobility. Injured workers can use our smart motion technology to track their flexion and extension in their knees and coming soon for their shoulders right through their smart device. They can also use the PeerWell app to conduct six minute walk tests to see how they're progressing with their mobility. Another great test of mobility for both the patient and for their case manager is our sit to stand tracker. This asks workers how many time, or to record how many times they can perform this key movement in 30 seconds, which can be a great indicator of when people are ready to return to work. What sets PeerWell apart with this technology is that it's built directly into our app. No external devices are required for patients. The data captures, uh, captured allows us not only to show patients and clinicians trends and progress with their patients' recovery, but it also allows for PeerWell to share quantifiable measures back with the Corval nurse case managers. Without this information coming directly from the PeerWell app, an injured worker would actually have to go to a physical therapy appointment to receive comparable services. Oh, next slide, please. What makes our partnership so great is that by using the PeerWell dashboard, case managers are able to receive smart alerts and insights from the, insights from the patient's daily interactions with PeerWell. Case managers do an unbelievable job in managing the care for their patients but they cannot be everywhere all the time. Now, thanks to Corval's partnership with PeerWell, PeerWell can become the daily eyes and ears for case managers to effectively manage their patient's recovery. The PeerWell alerts and insights that are shared with case managers span across several dimensions of the patient in relation to the data that we've collected over thousands of surgeries to allow for us to compare their physical, environmental, and psychological factors to those with similar injuries at similar stages of their recovery so we can easily identify outliers. In addition to the data that we're collecting from our smart motion technology, we also provide the case managers with clinical assessment surveys like pain tracking, emotional health scores, and other medical questions. We ask non-clinical questions too about lifestyle factors like smoking and the availability of a support network post-op. To show how it all comes together, let me share a couple of examples of how case managers are able to alter care based on the real-time data that they are receiving from the PeerWell dashboard. Let's use an example of a patient who has prescribed 10 physical therapy visits after they had surgery on their meniscus. Typically, the patient would progress through their PT visits with their nurse case manager actively following their progress and checking in. And the patient would be released back to work after completion of their 10 PT visits. Simple enough. Well, with PeerWell, our ability to collect a range of motion data now allows for case managers to detect when patients are progressing faster or slower than expected. Using this data, case managers can now determine if intervention is needed to help the patient either get back on track with their rehab or potentially alerting case managers to services that need to be adjusted or modified. So let's look, at, let's look back at that same example that I just shared, but with PeerWell. During the patient's recovery, smart alerts within the PeerWell dashboard have notified the case manager that after five physical therapy visits, the injured worker is already back to 10,000 steps a day. They're rating their pain relatively low at a two out of 10. The case manager can now consult with the physical therapist to determine if those next five scheduled PT appointments are needed. Additionally, because we've been tracking the patient's pain levels post-surgery, the case manager can see that because they've been in steady decline, now the injured worker's next pain medication refill may not be needed. 
In addition to altering care based on how a patient is physically performing, most patients may be unaware of how to prepare themselves and their support network on what to expect, what to expect from surgery. In order to help control hospital costs and reduce the patient's length of stay prior to going in for surgery, injured workers are asked to take the same assessment that is needed for their release from the hospital. Now they can do it right through the PeerWell app. With the case manager being alerted to their results, a, a patient may indicate that they don't have a ride home from the hospital or that they haven't secured the help of anyone for their first few days post-surgery. The Corvell case manager can now view the results and can follow up with them if there's anything that has not been taken care of. So the injured worker can be released from the hospital quickly in order to recover from the comfort of their own home. Lastly, we, all, we can also use the PeerWell app to help identify a patient's risk of infection. About 3% of surgeries in the US have a surgical site infection. And oftentimes it's simply because people wait too long to get treatment. Patients can easily mistake their soreness as normal because they're unaware that anything is wrong until they actually start to feel sick. With PeerWell, each user logs their pain, and if they mark their pain as high, our AI analyzes their pain score to determine if it's an outlier. Now the patient is prompted to check their temperature and is educated on infection signs. Like for instance, even a low grade fever could be a sign of early infection. Now knowing that there is a possible infection, case managers can intervene prior to the patient having to go back for a costly hospital visit. I will now turn it over to Karen so she can share how the Corvell team can use the insights they'll be receiving from PeerWell. Thanks, Zach. These, those are great examples of how our, your, our nurses will use the smart alerts. You mentioned physical measures that can help nurses compare progress to guidelines. Does the injured worker need additional support of some kind to improve function? Or perhaps medication needs adjustment? Or maybe the injured worker is overdoing exercise and rehab? The nurses can make adjustments and provide education real time to keep recovery on track or provide affirmation the injured worker is headed in a positive direction to proactively address their own health and recovery. Case managers can act on data from the injured worker's environment to make proactive adjustments in preparation for surgery. This prevents accidents and improves postoperative support and comfort. Nurses can work with the injured worker to prepare their environment and set themselves up uh, for post-operative best success. And let's not forget the power of the back pain um, program that PeerWell offers for both acute and chronic back pain. Um, we know that uh, to proactively address that, early intervention is where it's at. Um, in fact, just this month, the Workers' Compensation Re Research Institute, WCRI, came out with a uh, study that does confirm best outcomes occur with early intervention physical therapy, and the PeerWell program um, will fit very nicely into that. Finally, you mentioned the importance of social and emotional factors. Real-time institute, real-time insight into attitude, beliefs, sentiments allows the nurse case manager to manage those risks proactively and drive collaboration among all claim stakeholders. The injured worker feels supported and understands their responsibility in their own health outcomes. This leads to a sense of control, which can decrease the need for attorney involvement. Next slide. PeerWell currently offers surgery programs for the 14 most expensive MSK surgeries, as well as one pain management program focused on chronic back pain that Karen just mentioned, and one, and one general surgery program that can be used for any surgery that we do not currently cover. To continuously measure the ongoing success of our program, we also offer monthly reporting for any client or insurer that elects to offer peer well to their injured workers. Our monthly reporting allows for clients to track their engagement with the peer well program. We'll provide summaries of follow registered injured workers, show averages from month to month, and break out the surgery programs in easy-to-follow charts to show demographics of usage. 
We'll also provide a historical graph on engagement within our five pillars, and we'll send a line-by-line -line fully detailed report on engagement, adoption, and utilization by employer. If Corvell is acting as an MCO to an insurance company or another TPA, we can also break down reporting to allow them to only view their clients. So we can always add another layer to the reporting if needed. Purewell's personalized surgery optimization has allowed us to see our proven metrics of success across thousands of surgeries. We have historically seen a 93% user satisfaction rate and 70% weekly engagement, thanks in part to our self-paced daily program. We use our advanced AI to deliver each patient with a unique experience that adapts to their journey. And when paired with Corvell case management, it's really the best of both worlds to enable for better insights for case managers that can guide their efforts toward the best possible recovery for your injured workers. Next slide. So let's revisit Joe. I'm going to turn back time and assign a Corvell case manager to Joe's claim who activated the PeerWell app prior to his knee surgery. Joe spent the four weeks prior to surgery engaged with the app, learning the importance of proper nutrition, mindfulness, and meditation to control pain, and how to prepare for his upcoming procedure. His Corvell nurse reinforced the patient education he received and reviewed his engagement with the app. When the day of surgery arrived, Joe was completely prepared. He had learned all of his post-op exercises and impressed the hospital team with his advanced use of crutches. He actually lost weight prior to surgery and used his mindfulness exercises to feel in control. By post-op day number three, Joe no longer needed narcotics to control his pain. The nurse noted his range of motion was reaching pre-surgical measurements, and he was achieving 10,000 steps per day. She reviewed Joe's progress with his therapist, and he was discharged from PT. Three weeks after surgery, Joe returned to work full duty 14 days after surgery. Big success for everyone. So I wanna take a closer look at the impact of assigning a nurse case manager and activating the PeerWell app for this claim example. 24% overall reduction and an estimated $5,000 in savings. If we consider 100 cases, that's $500,000 in savings. So how can you afford not to use the app? Plus, this does not even capture overall health and fitness implications for workers, as well as the message of care it sends to your workforce. So getting started is super easy. You simply reach out to your Corvell representative and we will do the rest. We're able to assign a nurse and activate the PeerWell uh, app immediately today. The Prehab Rehab program is available for musculoskeletal surgeries, uh, for hips, knees, soldiers, biceps, spine. Zach mentioned uh, a service for general surgery. And then, of course, uh, for injured workers experiencing acute and chronic back pain. Many, many opportunities to assist with recovery and restoration of function on historically high dollar claims. So great news, um, our friends at PeerWell have graciously offered a discount to give everyone on the call an opportunity to experience the benefits of the Prehab Rehab program firsthand. PeerWell is offering 50% 50, 50 off the first three cases for account invites by the end of October. Thank you so much, PeerWell. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> So to recap what we've learned today, um, recovery from major surgical procedures and long-term back pain varies patient to patient. Factors such as nutrition, obesity, overall fitness, lifestyle choices, psychosocial challenges can either derail or 
accelerate recovery. We know by proactively arming injured workers with knowledge and gentle coaching, we put their recovery back into their control and drive outstanding outcomes. A surgical optimization platform that provides prehab, rehab in conjunction with nursing support drives claim costs down. Decreased pharmacy, physical therapy, and inpatient stay spend. Decreased TDD payments and length of claim. We're able to capture these savings for our customers. And even more impactful, this platform drives transformative, transformative tech first care to our injured workers. This transforms their overall health and outlook, restoring function again in a supportive, holistic manner. It's as easy as reaching out to your Corval representative to get uh, the service in place for your injured workers, and we can activate PeerWell for you today. All right, Diane, I think we're going to open up for questions. Well, yep. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Karen and Zach. Very inform uh, very informational. We do have several questions, both uh, for those who signed up as well as in the chat pane. So let's get moving on this now. Uh, first question, which I have responded to, is PeerWell available now? I have someone who is getting ready for knee surgery, and she would be the perfect person to try this. Karen, can you grab that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we can get you started today. That sounds like a great candidate um, for us to offer the PeerWell app. Great. Um, Zach, this question perhaps is for you. What is the acceptance rate of patients that are offered this and then actually log in and utilize it? Uh, our acceptance rate is 54%. And then, uh, as I mentioned, the 70% weekly engagement and 93% um, user satisfaction rate. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Karen, back to you. Can you share a little bit about what the pricing structure looks like? Sure, so today we charge one time by claim. So for the life of the claim, there's one charge to activate the app and then the cost of the nursing support. The nursing support is, uh, a weekly contact usually. And then as Zach mentioned, we can share the reporting, the platform with any uh, stakeholder on the claim. That could be adjuster, that could be physical therapist, physician, so that they can see the progress um, as well as the uh, interaction the injured worker is having with the app. Great, thank you, Karen. Uh, Zach, back to you. Um, does the use of the PeerWell app plus case management services replace physical therapy? Um, no, it does not. It's purely designed to supplement care and not replace it. So we offer daily recovery exercises that can be done on demand at home, uh, starting right after their surgery and in between their traditional visits to, uh, to get them back to full mobility. Great, thank you, Zach. Karen, let's uh, toss this one over your way. I'm not sure this is gonna be an easy one to answer, so um, I'll, I'll give you a second or two to think about it, but what would you say is the incremental savings one would see when comparing using nurse case management versus using nurse case management and the PeerWell app? So uh, actually not that difficult, Diane. So, you know, when we are engaging during the prehab program and we have use of the app, um, we're having that injured worker own their preparation. So we're gonna see a decrease in the need for physical therapy, decrease in pain medications, um, decrease in perhaps any kind of pre-service because that injured worker is engaged with the five pillars of health. Um, and then on the flip side, on the other side of surgery, uh, we see a decrease in overall claim spend, we see a decrease in total temporary disability, and we see the claims closing quicker because of the engagement with the PeerWell app. Um, the nurse case manager provides support 
um, making sure that uh, any questions regarding the patient education. Um, and then the, the power uh, where we see savings and, and the power of both nurse engagement and the app um, is that the app is sending real time data over to the nurse so that we can head off trouble before there is trouble. Um, the app literally acts as the eyes and ears for that nurse case manager. Um, so it's a, my friends at Peerwell describe it as a one plus one equals three kind of situation. Thanks, Karen. Uh, Zach, back to you. Uh, one of our participants, our attendees um, asked the question, our employees are not very tax, tax savvy. Has that been an issue where you have frontline workers who may be, and I'm gonna take this uh, present company excluded myself, who may be older? <laughs> <laughs> and by oh, the way, no. I do have a smartphone. I did give him my flip phone last year. So <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to get my dad to get rid of his flip phone for about 10 years now. I don't think <laughs> it's going to happen. Um, Peerwell is designed for those who are older and not tech savvy. Um, uh, so we've designed it specifically with them in mind. It's intended, it intended to be simple. Um, it, there's not a lot of buttons. It's uh, you know, limited navigation. Um, they, our programs can be accessed from any device that has internet. So whenever, a uh, whenever an employee feels comfortable, they can, or however they feel comfortable, they can access Peerwell and then do training on demand. So trust us, we certainly don't expect uh, tech gurus to be our normal users. We, we want to make it simple and engaging for folks to, to not only log in, but then to keep coming back and keep enjoying the program and getting the most out of it. Thanks, Zach. And I have actually played with the app and I am uh, not tech savvy and it is very easy to use. So I, I do appreciate that. Uh, Karen, one for you. I'm not sure we're clear on the actual cost. Um, one of the attendants um, had asked, I heard there's a one-time cost, but not the actual cost. What is the amount of the one-time charge? And are there other charges after that? So help us uh, clearly define that. Of course, $500 to activate the PeerWell app. Um, additional costs would be the time the nurse builds bills to, again, get the injured worker set up and then engage with that injured worker, typically weekly. Um, it can be less than that, depending on the engagement or the questions that the injured worker might have related to the use of the app. So minimal nursing time um, just there to support. And then finally, for the nurse to communicate out to the team progress that is made, or if there are potential issues that the nurse identifies that might need um, greater support. I think that's helpful. Thank you, Karen. Uh, Zach, back to you. What specific medical conditions are addressed in the PeerWell app? Uh, yeah, so we currently offer 14 MSK specific surgery programs, one pain management program focused on chronic back pain. And we'll and plan on releasing additional uh, pain management programs at the end of the year, um, or either by the end of the year or early in 2021. Uh, so if there is a surgery type that we currently do not have a specific program for yet, we encourage the injured worker uh, to be invited to join the general surgery program where they'll receive four out of the five pillars of, of health, just not uh, the physical therapy component. Um, and uh, we do have several clients that will offer peer will to all of their injured workers as they're preparing for surgery for the education and nutritional purposes that it can serve. Um, uh, and then from the actual types of surgeries, it is ranging from everything from the, the total hip and knee replacements, which to the far more common, uh, common torn ACL, meniscus, uh, slap, rotator cuff repair. Um, uh, so, yep, we 14 in total. And um, I, the case managers will assist in, in identifying um, uh, potential uh, injured workers who would be a great fit for, for Peerwell. Thanks, Zach. Karen, back to you. Um, obviously, we've got folks that are very interested in that 50% discount. Question is, is there a code that will be given on an email that we can provide our Corvell rep? Is the 50% off the first three claims? Does it uh, include all the costs, the app, the setup, nurse time, all of those things? So there is not a code that we're going to provide. We're going to be monitoring um, each account 
uh, with a list of the three um, injured workers that you would send over. Um, I will be monitoring that. The discount applies to uh, the $500 to activate the app. It does not apply to the nursing time. Great, thank you, Karen. Seems like a good deal for us. Uh, Zach, back to you. Do you have to already know the surgery date to sign someone else, uh, to sign someone up? Or can they start using it even if surgery is not scheduled and we're really not positive uh, that it will end up in surgery? Uh, so no, you don't have to have a surgery date in mind, or sorry, already set. And yes, if a surgery is likely or has been approved, uh, but no date is set, then you can still invite the injured worker to start the surgery program, and we'll have 90 days of content uh, leading up to when uh, you know their schedule or when their surgery will be scheduled. We know, and especially in a time of uncertainty like it is right now across the country. Um, uh, so if the date is a little bit further out than, um, uh, or sorry, not a specific date is set, but um, they know it's it's pending and will be coming soon. We, we do have plenty of content for them to be prepared for when the surgery date is locked in. That prehab is so critical with a lot of cases. Would you not agree, Zach? Yes, yeah, it's the uh, most, like we, we touched upon earlier, most patients just uh, are not sure what to expect. So it really gives them an idea of exactly what, how to go into the surgery prepared uh, to make sure that they're really, we believe in a stronger in, stronger out model. Um, so it's it's putting themselves in the best possible for, uh, position for surgery, both mentally and physically. So then their return to work time can be sped up and they can get back to full mobility and living their, their normal life after surgery as quick as possible. And I, I would just add to that, Diane, that um, if there is no surgical date, um, by utilizing the PeerWell app, we kind of get the, the injured worker out of that mindset of being in limbo, where we begin to kind of lose engagement and ownership. So the app provides them with a focus. Um, and I love that stronger in, stronger out mentality. Very, very important when we're dropping. Absolutely. Uh, Karen, let's go back a little bit to the cost. Um, still <laughs> a little bit of confusion and just need a little bit more clarification. Uh, so when is the fee incurred? We talked about 46% um, of the uh, patients uh, don't accept or don't go forward with it. Uh, is that $500 or if they take advantage of the 50%? Uh, in, is that charge billed? When when does the fee uh, click in? Absolutely, that's a great question. Um, so when the uh, patient is identified as appropriate for the app, um, and that can happen from a claims adjustment standpoint, perhaps from a risk manager, employee health standpoint, or if there is a nurse already assigned um, to the file. Um, the claims professional is notified that the app is going to be activated. Um, the nurse activates the app and the charge would be applied the month that the app is begun. If the injured worker does not engage with the app, um, does not participate, there is no charge to a customer. So are you saying, Karen, if you say, Diane, this app is great for you, and I say, sure, I download the app, but I never do anything with it because I just can't figure it out or I just don't want you watching how many steps I'm taking, will the client still be charged for that $500? The, the client will not be charged. Okay, sounds great. Um, so Karen, back to you. Uh, have you found the need in certain states to have the medical provider agree to use the app and its recommendations? How do we engage the medical provider on that? Do we need to make to engage the medical provider? Another excellent question. So uh, the PeerWell app does not require a physician's order. Um, so the information that is provided on the app is supplemental to all treatments and therapies. Um, part of the power of the nurse involvement is to educate 
physicians on um, the app, um, what we're trying to achieve with the app, and, and we want them to be supporting that as part of the medical team for the injured worker. Um, so part of the nurse engagement is to educate physicians um, on the platform, what it covers, and how it drives better surgical outcomes for the physician's patients. Great. Back to you, Zach. A question comes in that says, when should the injured worker ideally begin using the prehab service or the prehab part of the app? Uh, we recommend about four to six weeks before surgery for good preparation. But our, like I mentioned um, uh, in the last question, our prehab content is we have 90 days worth of content. Uh, so if it's a little bit before that, completely okay. Um, and even if an injured worker has a surgery schedule just seven days to 14 days from right now, uh, they could still receive vital information about how to prepare themselves, their support network um, for, for surgery and for the best outcome coming out of it. Great. Uh, Karen, let's toss this one your way. Uh, will the treating physician and or physical therapist and or adjuster be updated on the injured worker's engagement progress report? Any uh, concerns or alerts that pop up from it? Uh, the answer is yes. So uh, the nurse can be, d depending on um, the injured worker and um, kind of the particulars of the case, uh, the nurse will be updating all of the stakeholders, all of the clinicians involved and the claim professional on progress made and issues. Um, we do have the ability to share the dashboard. So that's the view that the case manager sees, again, of the progress made um, on some of the um, details that Zach mentioned, so the steps that the injured worker is taking, the range of motion, um, and certainly the engagement with the app, that can be shared with any or all of the providers that are involved in the injured worker's care. Thanks, Karen. Uh, Zach, back. Sorry, Karen, did you have something else? Yeah, I was just going to add that, again, um, by engaging the team early on, um, this proactively drives everyone to collaborate and be ahead of the curve with the care of the injured worker. So, you know, we talked a minute ago about the importance of involving the physician. Um, so, it's, you know, as an example, if we identify that the injured worker needs particular attention um, with fitness prior to surgery or maybe nutrition, we can involve that physician and find other pathways to support and drive that. Great. Thanks, Karen. Zach, to you, um, what about a Spanish version? <laughs> Uh, currently only offered in English, but um, uh, targeting Spanish for 2021. Great. Can't wait totally for that. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Karen, what about, um, what can our clients expect as far as um, the Peerwell peer well savings and uh, savings from the case manager savings report? Right, so the case managers are going to be documenting uh, savings specific to individual cases, and then we're beginning to gather data at a high account level where we can begin to do analysis on cases um, that have engaged with the Peerwell app and nursing versus those that have not. Um, and we can uh, define what those savings look like and break it out by body part, procedure type. Um, so, of course, we're just in the beginning stages of gathering data, um, but that is the intent and vision. Great. Um, and I'm not sure, I, um, maybe this is a question for Zach or Karen both. Uh, does the data alert to possible malingering or is it up to the nurse to identify and um, uh, document those patterns? 
Zach, I'll take, I'll begin. Um, so it really is going to be up to the nurse to dialogue with the claim professional. Um, the, the intent of the app is not to document malingering per se. Um, there could be many reasons why an injured worker is not making progress um, or perhaps not engaging. So I, I in the advocate role, the nurse needs to uh, be the one responsible for kind of synthesizing that data and having the discussion with the claim professional. Great. And this one, I think is go ahead, Dick. Sorry. Oh, no, I was going to say perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give you a wrong question then, Zach. Do you find that a lot of medical providers want to have access to the dashboard uh, for their patient? Um, so it's completely optional, and the treating um, physician or PT can be invited to view the injured worker's progress right through the dashboard in their own secure environment. Um, so they will only be able to see the patient reported data, such as the step counts, the range of motion, range of motion results, engagement of the last seven days, uh, and other assessments related to pain and mental health. Um, they'll also receive alerts when a patient reports that anything is out of the normal ranges, so they can be caught up to date on that. Um, but uh, they will not be able to see any patient information uh, or any claim specific information, such as the claim number or members of the, uh, or, or, or sorry, additional members of the care team. Great. Thank you, Zach. Karen, a question for you is um, there's a little bit of concern. Is this something that the Corval uh, nurse case manager uh, could or would ever potentially request and activate without the adjuster's prior approval? Understand the concern and no. So our uh, procedure, uh, the requirement for the nurses is to engage with the claim professional notify them um, that they are would like to activate the app uh, and then get their authorization to do so because of the charge of the app and again just to just to revisit that five hundred dollar charge for the activation of the app that's going to be one time per claim so if an injured worker were to have um, multiple procedures for that particular claim, it's just a one-time charge. Hopefully those are few and far between, correct? <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and I know you've covered this, Karen, but maybe just to reconfirm, does a Corval case manager have to be assigned to the claim to use the PeerWell app? Yes. And I think we're pretty much getting towards the end of our call. There were a lot of questions and comments about how can we get activated? How can we learn more? Uh, can we see a demo? Can we understand a little bit more about the details? Um, and it's fair to say that we would refer them back to their Corval representative who could answer all of those questions, Karen? Absolutely. Uh, we have a demo available that uh, the Corval contact can make available to you so you can actually see um, the app in um, in real time I'll say great and for those on the call we will we did record the session it will be available to you we will also ask your Corval representative to reach out to you to see if you have any other questions and uh, make sure that you get the appropriate uh, uh, information to take advantage of the generous discount that uh, Peerwell has offered for this. Um, any other final comments from you, Karen, or you, Zach? Not from me. I just want to thank everyone for their time today um, and certainly contact Corvell if you have any other questions or needs. We are super excited about this partnership with Peerwell and think it will have a huge impact um, on the health, well-being, and outcomes for our injured workers. Yeah, just thank you um, everyone for your time and we look forward to uh to helping out the injured workers and, and excited about the partnership. Thank you everyone. And with that, have a wonderful day, stay safe, and uh, thank you for joining our webinar. Thank you. Thank you.